um, knowing all these students and uh, participating in their respective advocacies? I think the um, the most uh, memorable thing that I got was physically meeting all these people because you know you don't always get the chance to do that, especially in mall shows. Sometimes you know you don't get to talk to the students, but this I saw you kaya na mga students, and they were they were you know they really made do with everything that they had, especially with the recyclable fashion shows. Naka shock talaga, you could see that talaga the Filipinos are so they really make do out of everything that they can. Talaga may kaya sila. And I think the most memorable was really just going to these schools and immersing myself 100% in their lives and seeing what they're, they're capable of achieving. And I really felt like I was so proud of the youth nowadays because obviously I'm not nakasama there. So, you know, I felt hindi na ako youth because, you know, it was, these are the new people that are going to come up and change our country. And I felt very reassured seeing them with how they took on the project and made it personal and made it relevant. And this is uh, quite a unique project for a brand to do, right? Like uh, to get young people involved in a project like this. Um, how do you feel? I mean, you mentioned a while ago that you're so proud of being uh, uh, the ambassador for the, the brand. brand itself was very proud. Right. Um, how does it, your question is, how does it How does it feel that uh, you're actually part of a project that has actual beneficiaries and actual advocacies? Well, um, I really thank Garmi for giving me the opportunity to be part of this because I don't think I would have reached that, uh, you know, seen that amount of people and reached the lives of those of those many people without Garmi being included. So I'd like to really thank you guys for coming up with something this, I mean, it really, I mean, if we read through the tweets of all the people every time we go to the schools, it was really something that you could see, it touched the lives of these children, and um, all these young adults, sorry. And, and I really, uh, families to be part of that was so well overwhelming, and also, I felt so grateful just to be with them on stage. And we, we talked a lot about taking care, not just about their skin, but just, you know, I also tell them a lot, like, our future of the country depends on you guys, so keep doing your own, you know, have your own movements, be socially active, get active, and be, I mean, care for our country, care for yourselves, care for your environment, and I think when I went through the videos of what these people were able to do with their, you know, social calls to their community and the school, you'll really be surprised with what they're able to come up with, and I think uh, one of my favorites is definitely the, in the running for winning. Their, their advocacy was life-changing. I have to put it that way. And I think you'll find out more about it soon. Yes, we will. Thanks so much, Regina. Thank and uh, now let's call back on stage our participants one by one. But before they come here, we'll show you a uh, short video presentation of their project. So please watch this from the St. Paul University in Gaston City first.